Question number nine. Six pencils cost one pound sixty-eight. Three pencils and one rubber cost one pound nine. And we've got to find out what's the cost of the rubber here. Now this one is really, really simple. If you realize that that's three pencils, you can actually do the same around here and split your six pencils into two lots of three pencils. So if you if you half your six pencils, you're going to figure out what three pencils is costing. So half of six pencils makes three pencils, so you'd have to do half of one pound sixty eight. Well half of one pound half one pound is fifty P and half sixty eight P well half of sixty is thirty and half of eight is four. So thirty four P. So half of one pound sixty eight is going to be fifty P plus your thirty four P. Fifty plus thirty is eighty plus four is eighty four. So that's going to be 84p. So half of £1.68 is 84p. So if six pencils cost £1.68, split that in half. Three pencils must be 84p. Same for this three pencils here. So if your three pencils is 84p, then what has the rubber got to be that gets the 84p up to one pound nine because the, whatever the cost of the rubber is must be the extra bit so if we can figure out the the gap or another word for that would be the difference if we can figure out the difference between one pound nine and 84p we'll know the cost of the rubber so to find the difference between any two numbers you must subtract the smaller one away from the bigger one so if we start with one pound nine which is the total cost and subtract the cost of the three pencils which is 84p now remember 84p with a pound sign will be 0 0.84 so I need to really put 0 0.84 in here so it's one pound nine subtract 0 0.84 here we go so nine take away four is five zero take away eight you can't do They'd be very, very lucky if they give you one where there's no borrowing required. So you must zero take away eight. You can't do so. You must borrow from this one. If you borrow from the one, it becomes zero, and the one you borrowed turns this zero into a ten. Now we can carry on. Ten take away eight is two, and zero take away zero is zero. So your answer is 0 0.25. Don't forget we were talking pounds. So 0 0.25 means 0 0.25 pounds. Now in the answer box here, there's no actual pound sign or sign for pence. So there are two possible answers you could write here. You could write 0 0.25 pounds, or you could write the equivalent of that in pence, which obviously would be just 25 pence. Either of those two answers are acceptable. So the rubber must be 25 pence. Remember, 84 pence for the three pencils and 25 pence for the rubber. Just as a quick double check, you could do 84 plus your 25, see what that gets you. 4 plus 5 is 9, 8 plus 2 is 10, which would be 109 pence. And 109 pence gets you back to the £1.9. So the rubber has to be worth 25 pence.